I don't know if Neil's actually sending semaphore signals out to uh, when he passing boat. Trying we're, to find some water. Yeah, we're very near to the coastal watch station, which is uh, somewhere at the back of the point over there, I believe. Yeah, is that around the Behind, around the point yeah, yeah, yeah. I, walk, I walked up to the top of that the other day i did honestly yeah. i walked up to the top it's a good walk that it's one. a good walk yeah and uh, there's a there is the coastal watch station just yeah. around the corner from it so welcome to back part to golf. two back to golf so neil here we are on hole number four hole at cape four. cornwall club yeah formerly Cape Cormor Golf Club, near St Just, yep. near Penzance really, I suppose is the best way you can kind of describe it. Yeah, Penzance and then a bit further. Yeah, come out of Penzance on the main road, turn right, St Just, you're yep. here. Okay, so I am currently one up after three holes. You are? You are we indeed. are filming the front nine today on an evening before the weather kicks in. It's going all right at the moment. It's going all right at the moment, yeah. yeah. Seems to be fairly settled. It's just a bit grey. That is the sea out there. If you can probably tell the difference in the sea and the sky, you're a very lucky person. Yeah, it's very grey right now. Yeah. Rumour is weather will kick in soon, but right now we're doing okay. Yeah, we're doing all right. So, hole four is a hole very quirky number hole. Four. Yeah, this is, a, this is a quirky hole. Can't be said any more than that, really, because it's a very yeah. strange hole. It's 247 yards. Yeah. It's a par four. And as you can see, we are right on the edge of the cliff now, so the wind is going to start kicking here. Okay, so yeah, you can't see much from the tee. You can see very little from you the tee. You see very little from the tee, but it's a basically a right angled dog leg. Yeah. So it's about I think it's 120 odd yards down. Down. Yeah. And it starts to go right. Okay. And it goes right at a so right, angle, right yeah. angle. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can, if you want, go straight at the green and cut that corner off. It's a bit dodgy now, but it's, it's a so bit I think dodgy, there's an out of bounds on there because yeah, that's where the one of the greens out is of bounds now. Bounds on the right. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I'm not too sure what you're going to land in either. No, no, there's all sorts down there. Yeah. Uh, you've got a few badger sets. You've got a few mine workings and a lot yeah, down yeah. there. Yeah. But safe play is to play sort of mid iron down, just get yourself in position and leave yeah. yourself an approach in. Okay. So we'll get to the uh, yellow markers. We're playing off the yellows today and hopefully you may see a little bit more. I think there is, used to be a marker point down yeah. here. We'll have a look. Let's do it. So, while Neil takes the photograph of the. Uh, details for us I'm just going to try and show you more i'm actually now on what would be the red tee just so you can see more of the corner as you can see it sweeps down serious right to left so you can end up in this rubbish all down the outside never see it again there's the marker post but you don't even really see that from the yellows and the whites do you further around you just about see the marker post and the yellows but yeah from the whites you can't really and uh we are playing back up there Okay, we'll hit off and see what happens. No point in zooming in, you're not going to see where it landed. You won't see much, no. So, Neil's just going to sort himself out. And there's the view, as you said, we are on the edge of a cliff. We really are. Okay. I was filming this morning for my other channel, Big Oggy Cornwall, and it was six o'clock this morning. It was benign down at that in that cove, yeah. flat as a pancake. Now, it's just starting to whip up a little bit. Yeah, it's starting to. It's what Cornwall's like. Changes in a heartbeat. It does. So we're going to let Neil tee off even I'm in front because I'm carrying the camera. Yep. So I'm going to play, you got the marker post there. I'm going to play it over the marker post okay. with a nine iron. And that should get me down into that little fairway area. It's really is a blind shot to nothing. That looked very good. That's very good. I think that's pretty much right hand side of the marker post and just yeah. swinging slightly left. So it'd be fine. That should be fine. Just gotta find it now. Right, I'll go and find a club. What have you got, John? I go for a seven. Yeah. Um, and then try and go for kind of that line, but it'll probably end up on the right hand side and swing down the slope. Yeah. Unfortunately I got the wrong tee on me. But that's just the way I that's just the way I roll, mate. So yeah, it's kind of just knock it down, isn't it, and see what happens. Yeah. That'll be okay. That should roll down. Freak down the edge, yeah, it's a bit of a, bit of a funny little shot. I, I suddenly realised I had a camera and two golf balls, sorry, a camera phone, I had two golfers in a pocket, and I'm thinking, crack screen, crack screen, yeah, if I swing this oh, one. Yeah. yeah, not good. 
Ugh. But you should, that should open up then towards the green. You'll see where we're going then. Yeah, that's that's the thing about me. I always actually like to know where I'm going. I find blind shots very difficult at times. Yeah. yeah. So we we'll carry on. Let's get there. There we go. Yeah, you've got a lovely position into the green. Oh, thank you, Neil. So Neil's just driving the buggy down to where my balls ended up. Here's the green. You can see the green now. Okay, but this is the kind of mine workings, mine shafts, badger sets. Badger's not here. And uh, up there is another green, which we will see in a little while. Quite a lot of clover here, so, you know, if you dink it down here a bit, it won't run quite so easily on this. The greens, well, the fairways are fast as usual. So you tend to find most things that kind of clear this area, sweep down to this left-hand side. Nils will be further down, but still on the edge of this, light rough, really, you're further down on the edge. Well, I'm just literally right on the edge. Between. Yeah, everything sweeps down this. Heavily to just right to fairway. left, doesn't it? Yeah. So I'm going to hand this to Neil. Okay. Right. Yeah, because even yours is. Yeah, yeah so but... John's here. I'm just down there. But I, said I did cut a little bit more of the corner off than what John did. Now you're playing across to the green just over there. Yeah, I don't think there's anything particularly in the way. It's no, just... there's no bunkers yeah. on this hole. Well, it's just got you only played 20 years ago. I do know what well, yeah, that's true. I'm just saying, mate, I can feel a bit of water. Yeah, I can feel a little bit of moisture. Yeah, we keep going. So that's, that's just shy yeah, sure of the green. Oh, it's got to stuck. I know it's sweeping away. Yeah, everything goes right to left. That's everything okay. does go right that's to left okay. on this hole. Thank you. Alive. So Neil, this, this rain is happening. No it's not, no it's not. It is. Honestly it is. I'm trying to ignore it. This mist is now heavy raindrops. We may just get six holes in if we're lucky. Yeah. But Crack on. So that pin's quite close again. Yep. So just pop it up. Pretty good. It's all dependent on the bounce. All dependent on the bounce, isn't it? Yeah, as usual with, with Lynx Golf, all dependent on the bounce. So you've just come up a little shy of the green there, John. Yeah, it rolled off that slope, didn't it? If yeah. I got kicked forward, it would have rolled on. But yeah, yours is on the green. Well done, my friend. Thank you, sir. Do. Yeah, you're on the dance floor. It'll do. That it will do. Yeah, nice Thank you, Dad. Pitch. Lesson's still working on the chipping. Doing very well. Okay, then, Neil. So we're both on the green, mate. You're here for two. I'm here for two. I'm here for three. Yeah, so here for technical two. Yep, very good. Still not been able to read the speed of the greens here myself yet, but we'll see how it goes. Well, pretty much Neil has. Go on. Oh. 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 Just about the shortest extra shot you've got to play in golf, mate. Well done. Take that one. Uh, well, I certainly would. Go on, move move quicker. It's raining, mate. Oh. Come on. I don't like running on camera, John. <laughs> no, I don't like running on camera either. Uh, don't think the, the mine workings wouldn't take it, honestly. There'd be subsidence everywhere. You haven't quite got the speed of the greens yet, have you? No, no, a little bit. I suppose this isn't the best of greens at the moment for Cape. Gets a lot of weather issues on the yeah. cliff face, doesn't it? Uh, oh. oh. So, back to one, all back to level, mate. Back to all square. Back to all square. Yeah. Don't know what's wrong with my putting today. Normally it's my strongest point, so I need to sort that out very quickly before the storm comes. Let's keep going. Hole number five. Okay, Neil, so we're on hole number five. Hole number five. It Hun says 197, par three. 197. T's just. T's at the back. Us. It's a piece at the back of a pond. Yeah. Which is another new feature to the course. This just used to be. Look at the raindrops, Neil. It's raining. Yeah, I know. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful, Neil. Yeah. yeah. We used to call this <laughs> the snake pit. 
The snake pit. The snake pit. Oh, that's what me and my dad used to call it. It's like an eel pit now. Yeah, well, yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah, or a trout a pond. Trout pond. Oh. They're very nice. Yeah. So, yellows are up there. We've got to go back the other way. We'll turn around and show you where we got to go. Let's do it. Okay, so while Neil's setting up, this is a long par three up a hill. Yeah. Over the pond and pretty much straight up. Everything up and don't hole, stop till midnight. Everything this hole left to right. The green's a slight little two tier green. Yep. Two bunkers to the right of the green. Yeah, but everything's sort of sweep down towards yeah. those, yeah. I mean. Tricky hole. Yeah, realistically, I'm aiming way left of the green and let it yeah, go bounce around. I think I've done it my. I've, I've just kind of got the ping hybrid out. I think I'm trying to go for it, and actually, best shot would have been me for a bit yeah. of five iron up on the left and then chip it in. Yeah. Might do that yet. We shall see. It's going as a tuft sticking out the top of that hedge, left of the pin. So, well, quite a bit left of the pin. Wow, oh, you've got yeah. way left. Hang on, that's so far left. That's the old swing, that That's one. the old swing. Um, that, that's very left. Hopefully you'll have a good shot in from there. That's way left. That Let's uh, try and keep this oh, camera dry yeah. as possible. We keep going. Wow. Have a, have a towel. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I don't know where that went. It went a long way though. I've, I've never been over there. there. Right, first of all, let's move the phone into the other pocket. Separate your phone from your balls. Separate your phone from your balls. Right, now I'm going to try again. So like we said, if it wasn't for the fact it was raining and I'd have to run down back down there, I would probably change clubs now and go five iron and just get, get further up the hole. But we got this, we'll do it. There's like a cut out buggy path going up the centre there. You want to be going up yeah, that. You want to kind of go up that, don't you? Pretty much up where you just told me to go. That's all right. It's going to be a bit short at the top of the hill. Stay there. Don't roll short at the top the of the hill. Well, you can play that in. I think it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. I couldn't have done you back with that. The fabric soft as miles nice on this. Time. Oh, thank you very much. We're using towels already. Oh, we're rolling. Right, well, well, so you've cut. Yeah, so I it's a little bit short. short. I was here because I thought we're doing pretty well, but that's a very steep slope and a lot of yeah. clover again. So didn't, it kind of got onto here, onto the fairway, and then just swept back off again off yeah. the slope. I'll we'll come behind you. So you've got what, 70, 76 it says. 76. So I'm going pitching wedge. It is a, it is a tough par three. And again, because of that slope, it's just not quite... It's literally not quite just... to put on, but yeah. You've got to put on from there. Thank you. So we'll uh, we'll go and find out what's happened to Nils because it's way over here, way over here. Oh. Right then, Nil. So we're on. Yeah, hmm. a, a totally different fairway. Fifth, sixth, seventh. A, a wildly different fairway. We may actually see this on near, near the end of the three videos. That was terrible. Yeah, you got about eighty-nine yards to get back towards the green. But everything's going to run away from me. It is. I'm going to put this down so I can hopefully focus in. You can play it short. Yep. Alright. Oh, I'll that way short. I'm struggling today, John. You are, aren't you? I think we might have to do a little video about this. A bit of a discussion video. Yeah, struggling. We'll see what happens after a whole nine holes. These things happen, mate. Everyone has bad days. No, no, that's it. Right, Neil, so you've got way underneath that one. Didn't yeah. go very far. No, we just discussed on the short little buggy trip that when you're having a lesson, you're thinking about mechanics about your swing. When something goes wrong, you start thinking about that. But then that affects every factor well, in your game. Well, this is normally your best part of your game. I know. And I wouldn't normally. Suddenly that's gone to pot yeah. as well. Maybe you're just thinking of the other things I'm right just now. Thinking too much, I think. Yeah, thinking Don't too think, much. Neil. Don't think. Just relax and play. Yeah. That could be much better. Little kick forward, nice kick. Nice kick, sweep off the slope. Oh, it was very good, that but was, that was better. To, for that to have held, that had to go in the hole, didn't it? Yeah. But, yeah, but uh, nearly did, nearly did. 
Overthinking. Overthinking. Maybe that's what we do sometimes when we get lessons. What do we do? Just concentrate on the lesson for the bits you need to learn about. Yeah. Yeah, the rest of it, just do what your own game mate. That's it. Right. Yeah, again, I've got quite a little bit of roughy stuff to yeah, go through. Yeah, you've got really. a little bit of roughy stuff and you've also got a little bit of a, a swerve or a little. I think, yeah, when you get past this part of the iffy area, yeah. it's going to sweep that way, isn't it? Your line, I think your line really is through that little patch. I think it is, yeah. Okay, because I haven't got the pace, have I? A little bit wow. short. Mm. Not like me at all. Normally your putting is, uh, is bob on. I do get days like this. Yeah. Well, if we didn't, we'd all be, uh, you know, we'd all be one handicap. Oh, well, yeah, we'd absolutely. So, I think I'm up to five. Not sure, actually. I'll have to count that again in a minute. <laughs> I'm really not sure. We need Badger's little clicker. Yeah, I've got a clicker. There's a little bobble. Yeah. Take it away, mate. A little bobble. Take it away. There we go. Well done. So let's go to the next hole and we'll count because we'll there's so many shots in that. We'll, I didn't we'll run count out. back this one, yeah. Yeah. How, my, if I had a clicker, it'd have melted by the time I finished that off. <laughs> right well, then, Neil. After the uh, debacle well, of that last we've hole, we've counted up. Yeah. Um. You had a lost count <laughs> again. <laughs> Ah, uh, six. Or five. Right. right. Hang on. Let's go back. Right then, Neil. Me, after the bark of the last hole. Me, me. Yeah, exactly. Right, yeah. So after the uh, the counting of the last hole, you had a six for net five. I did, I yeah. I had a five. You had a five. So we're all square still. Yep, so we're all square. Um, if you hear a bit of rattling, I've got an umbrella under the, over this camera yeah. now. Uh, it's not heavy rain. It's just the drops that are coming down are heavy. Yeah, they're, they're big blobs. drops. They're yeah, big there's not drops. many of them, but it's no. annoying. And uh, we don't want to wreck this camera like we did the no. one at Travose. I'm, I'm just going to have to stick with the shorts. Well, the shorts will be fine. You know, skin is uh, pretty much waterproof. It's only right? Half a leg to get wet. Well, skin is you know, the best. The best thing, really. If we could all like playing new golf, it'd be brilliant. Nowhere to put your tees though. Do you think about it? You know, skin's waterproof. Yep. Flexible. Breathable. Breathable. And repairable. There you go. So this is the sixth hole. This is the sixth hole, 422 yards. Yeah, this is the long hole now. It's it's a long hole because of the the incline that you're going up. Yeah. So you're firing off. You got the uh, the seventh hole. No, sorry. Yeah, the seventh hole seventh coming hole, down yeah, the other seven way. Seventh hole coming back. Six up, seven back. Yep. You got the seventh. It used to be the fifth when I played it. So you're getting confused. With 20 oh, years I ago. Yeah, Stop yeah, it now. Yeah. Wish I was 20 years younger. So yeah, you've got the the seventh hole coming down the hill. But you've got a banked fairway. Um, and yeah, you, they've put a new bunker in on the right-hand side going up the hill. Yep, that kind of catch you out a little it's bit. A, it's a long haul going up the hill. long haul. Yeah. And when you get, well, we get to the next shot, see maybe the third shot for me, uh, it's quite a tricky green to get onto because there's, there's a bit of a hump to get up yeah, onto a little you've plateau got green. raised to go up. Yeah. But you also got a little backstop behind it. So you, you anything have. further, you can come back down. I like this hole. It is a nice hole. Yeah. Very Great hole if, if, you're, if you draw a ball because yeah. it kind of does that sweet round on the slope. Used to struggle to get here in two. That looked amazing. I'm not going to see an awful lot because it's straight down the middle of the fairway, I'm I reckon. Not gonna, I'm not going to want that one back. No, I don't think you do. Now, whether I was able to zoom anything at the same time as holding an umbrella, I don't think that was probably possible. I probably no. zoomed a completely wrong fairway. But, you know, such is life. It's all right. Sorry. Hold that. So I'll find a driver. You may hear the old uh, pitter patting of the uh, the rain on the umbrella. I apologise for the zoom on the on that because I think I zoomed on the wrong fairway. 
Um, <laughs> it's very difficult to hold an umbrella one hand it is, yeah, the other and yeah. work control. I, I don't think I'm going to even attempt it. I, I, after that, don't bother. No. All right, let's just get drawn in the frame a little bit better. That's for the camera, by the way, not for us. Faded the wrong way. So it's gone a little bit right. Well, gone down there. It's such an expansive place. It is, yeah. Not really a problem. No, I think I can attribute a lot of that to my inconsistent direction. Yeah. From when I've played, because yeah, yeah. you could spray it as far as you want on this yeah. course, and you you've still got a shot. Yeah, you've always got a shot in on link, pretty much. Yeah. Yes, you have pretty much got a shot most of the time on here. So we will keep going. We'll go and find my ball. It might be easier to find. Just got to get back onto that fairway. So you've just come down on this right hand side of between two fairways, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, the ring seems to be eating off a bit, so you might be able to drop that umbrella in a minute. I, th I think, do you know what? I'm just going to drop it now. Go on, then do I, it now. I can't. There you we can't go. control Dropped. yourself with that. I can't, I can't do it all. So I could, I could like go dead straight and just keep going on this way, but I will try and get back on the Yeah, that's the thing. You feel. can keep going on this fairway as far as you want. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, it might be worth. I'm going to do a five iron and hopefully go off the edge and then yeah. go down on the fairway. Just keep going up there a bit, but you can get greedy. So you, you can, can get very greedy on this hole. Did I take that? That's what I want to do. Over the slope, back on the fairway I want to be. Yeah, you're, on the left -hand you're side, back on our okay. fairway. And want to, to be fair, you got a good shot up to the green from yeah, there. Yeah, one of those things I have been taught about links is don't go too greedy. Don't go, oh, just try and go further and further because yeah. you'll end up in rubbish. Which you can't get out of. You got to just try take, and get to the fairway. Medicine, always. Thank you. So I'm looking back to where we teed off from. Yeah. So you can kind of see the slope now that we're having to deal with, and that's the bank that, if you hit a good tee shot coming down this fairway, yeah. you can quite often go on that bank and roll across. Yeah, you can roll down nicely yeah. there. I was up on the top bit there and just knocked it back down here. So you're very pleased with your drive this I'm time. I'm pleased. It was straight. Yeah. I'm pleased I... with my second shot. So no, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll see when I watch videos back you know well that's the thing i, I think you're wrong? doing the best reviews like views i've got on my channel at the moment because you keep paying them back and i keep looking back at my swing and seeing how i'm doing so if you want to know where i am we're pretty much level i'm just on the very edge of the rough there which is kind of expected off that slope but that's okay so tricky shot neil tricky because shot. it is a plateau you can't roll it up onto it and there's no room at the back because it's a wall isn't it yeah it's 120 uphill okay Uh, it is uphill 120 uphill if you go too long you're over the back and then you're out of it there is nowhere there's nowhere to go so All right. and for me the sort of game i play it's not a sort of place you can roll up to either because of that slope yeah well, me got, i'm just going to try and get closer i've got a wedge yep so also out of bounds on the left very close to the green as well yep Th thanks for reminding me no oh, well i thought i'd remind you because you haven't been here for years well yeah yeah right It's going a bit left. Wow. Very good. That, that well, I think that was pretty off good. off the wall on the left. Okay. <laughs> shot right. So, um. I may have missed that on the zoom, but it, uh. Please, please, Mr. Please, Mr. Eva, get me some glasses, mate, because I we'll, can't see what I'm doing. We'll find that one, hopefully. Yeah. So, yeah, you were nearly out of bounds. Yeah, yeah, out of bounds, yeah. But you rescued Strange. yourself by a Cornish hedge. Yeah. Keep the arm in. Keep the arm in. Right, let's go to yours. Okay. So I will say while we're, we're discussing, we've been discussing the Lad Hydrop video, and you played really well in the Lad Hydrop. Well, you scored very well. I scored well. I may You've not have always played play that well. Brilliant golf. There, but there were a few, and people have made <laughs> funny comments about fantastically strategically placed trees. Yes. Which which banged you back into the fairway. Which you need a bit of luck when you get a good score, you no do, matter yeah. how good you are. Yeah. No, that's right. Um, so it was. I scored well, I scrambled well. Yeah, yeah. There was but a lot of there was some scrambling. good shots in there that I probably wouldn't have hit pre-lesson. No. There would probably have been more wayward tee shots then. I think so, but you also got, you also rode your luck a little bit. Yeah. So I'm not saying it was a false score. No. But it was a score that gave you confidence. And then you, like I said, the last time you played after that was yesterday when you bombed it. 
yeah. horribly. I, I did and you're recovering that from that today, so it's a bit of yeah. a struggle for me. Golf gets in your head. They do say yeah. you know, 70% in your head, but. You've got to think of the good stuff that you did there. Yeah. Forget yesterday. So sorry for reminding you. No, no, that's fine. <laughs> it's all good. I know what I was trying to say. I know what I was trying to explain. <laughs> it didn't quite come out the way I wanted it, but oh well. But it's. It's getting yourself to know that what you've been taught you need to trust. Yeah, exactly. And not to go back to the old ways because what's the point in having lessons to progress? Because your body naturally goes back to that way anyway because it's done yeah. it for 20 odd years. Yeah. So it's going to take time to, to change. It's going to take time to ingrain that and turn that into the muscle memory. But you know, Chris is a good coach. Dan is yeah. a good coach. Yeah. If you don't trust them, like I said, what's the point of going to spend the money in the first place? That's if, you're it. Going to, That's if, it. if two weeks later you're going to have a bad day and go, well, we're going to borrow that anymore, I just swing it how I yeah. want. I know what I've been taught works, I just need to do it. Just need to do more of it. So about 1.20, I'm going with a 7 iron because it's uphill. Yeah. I still don't know if I'm going to make it with a three-quarter swing. I just, I am very worried about this out of bounds on the, this side because yeah. I'm on the wrong side. I'm on the side where you don't want to be. Which is why I probably just knocked it up yeah. on the right hand side. So sort of bundle it up there. Let's just get it safe and use your shot. Yeah. It's like, it's like that thing, isn't it? You, you hit one ball left, you tee up another one, you hit yeah. it right, because you're counteracting the previous swing. Yeah, yeah. But you get into your head, don't hit it left. Well, you're either going to hit it left or you're going to hit it way right. The thing is, I'm better where I am there with the extra shot I've got than, than being out of bounds on the left-hand yeah. side. Yeah, definitely. So, still there, still there, still playing. Let's keep going. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're, you, know, you are playing very well. You're just having a bad week. Yeah, you, know, you could be tired from work. It could be stupid things like I've lost a pound. I've put on a little bit of weight. Yeah, I may have lifted too many boxes at work. Absolutely, you said you had a bad weekend of having to do lots of. It was very busy. Yeah, <laughs> it was like this morning I had to do a massive veg delivery, and that's like six pallets. Of you had to do a massive veg delivery. What was it like, big marrows? No, 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 giant no, no, carrots. No, not, not big veg. Oh. Just, just a lot let, of let stock. Let me talk about massive veg, mate. A lot of stock. There, there's, there's my past life. Don't talk about Matthew Veg with me. Alright. And we're not talking about that bloke from Master Chef either. <laughs> uh, I can't walk down a fruit and veg aisle of anywhere nowadays. Alright. Shall I carry on? You, ca you carry on. Yeah. You're that camera steady. Yep. Go. Go! That's fine. That's just held the top. It's on the top. I'm very happy with that, mate. Yeah, no, that was good. Did you manage to keep that steady I after all that? that steady, yeah. Well done. Yeah, not, not a wonky bit of I'm not, I'm not trying to put him off at all, honestly. I'm not. <laughs> oh, dear. So, Neil, after your uh, little, well, my, shall we say ricochet? Yeah, my, my left miss ended up going right. Pinging off there and then firing across the green. Whether we saw it on camera or not, I don't know. But you've ended up the other side That'll of the green. That'll be quite a funny one to watch back, I think. Oh, I do hope it's on the edit. I won't know. I won't All know until right. I see it on the screen. Come on, Neil. Come on, just relax. Better, a little bump off the top. Come on, roll in. Mm. Not bad, not That'll bad at do. all. That'll do. That'll do. We'll take do it. indeed. No. Okay, so Neil. Right, John. Where are we? So, oh, I'm putting again. I don't know what's wrong with my putting today. I'm really not. Oh, right, come on. Come on, get this it's one up. A, again, it's quite a sweep. Yeah. Doesn't look like it until you get here. I reckon it's up here. Yeah, there is a bit of a runoff there. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that's that's your line. Yeah. It was too. It was, yeah, you just. I'm a bit firmer now. So I finish off? Carry on. Ah, oh, carry on. Yeah. Carry on, grip your putter. Good yeah. putt. Right. So, we'll swap cameras. In the end, I was quite happy with that. Yeah, take that. I mean,. Two putts. If I can get this, this is a four. Yeah. You know, it's a par. And yeah. that's very good. I'll take it, especially after the... It's a long hole. Oh, 
Oh, Ooh. steam drain. Bit heavy on the yeah, bit heavy rough. on the puffing. Yeah, that was a little bit feisty. Nice and steady, well done. So let's go. Well, I was gonna say let's go to the next one, but actually it's the end of this video. It's the end of the end of the three. Let's go to the buggy and count. Let's count. We've got the abacus. Yep, we've got the abacus. Good, might need it. <laughs> So Neil, we checked the abacus. We've checked the abacus. I got a six. You got a six net five. You got a five. And I had a five. So we're still level. We're still all like friendly golf, mate. I know. It's good. Not not always the best golf, but well no. actually, the best golf is golf with friends. That's what we're doing right now. That's Having it. a bit of a laugh, yeah. And just get, trying to get survive all emotional, the it? weather. So, thank you very much to Cape Cornwall Club for allowing us to come and film. Yep. Sorry if our golf is not on par today, but we are kind of rushing a little bit just to get this I done. I think in our heads we're trying to beat beat the weather. Beat so. the weather. Three more holes to do. Three holes to go. Um, thank you very much to the members. We've seen a few of them today and a bit yep. of a laugh with some of those as well. Yeah, they're good, good guys. It's a lovely place to come and play evening golf. Yeah. I just wish we didn't have this cloud base coming down quite low because you'll yeah. see some beautiful sunsets. Maybe oh, when yeah. we do the, the back nine, you will see that because it's yeah. right towards that lovely sunset. We'll pick the right Excellent. day. Yeah. So please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. Do all those things. Give us a thumbs up. Find us on the Big Oggy Golf Club on Facebook. And go and take a look at my new channel, Big Oggy Cornwall. For everything that isn't golf, but it's all Cornwall. That's it. Even Neil will be on it because he's all Cornish. I'm all, well, yeah, all Cornish. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. are. There's a little bit of Australian in there, but yeah, we won't go too deep on that one. No, but after the miners again. Yeah. Big Cornish miners going over to Australia. There's a lot yeah. of history there. Oh, yeah. We're waffling. Let's go. See you in part three, everybody. Thanks for Speak watching. Soon.